Okay, so in this example, we're going to be talking about Pascal's triangle and how we can use it for binomial expansion. Now, I have done videos on this in the past, so what we have here on the right is Pascal's triangle. And it's really easy, it's just a pattern that you follow. So first, you start out with your triangle of ones. So you're starting here, right? Looking at this part, one, one, one. And then you simply just add, so one plus one is two, and then add a one and a one on the outside. And you continue with that pattern. So like again, here I'm going to add one plus two is three, two plus one is three, and then add one on both sides. And you just continue on with that pattern for as long as you need, okay? Now notice here in red, this is gonna be our exponent value. So we start at zero, one, two, three, and four. And these numbers are gonna act as the coefficients when we expand out this binomial. Okay, so let's get right into it. What you wanna do when you're using Pascal's triangle for binomial expansion is just write your coefficient first. So going left to right, my first coefficient is gonna be one because again, look at my exponent value, it's four. So this row right here corresponds with an exponent of four. So these are going to be the coefficients that I use. So I'm gonna start with one. So I have one. And then watch this pattern. Remember, I have two terms. So right here, I'm going to have x to the fourth times 3 to the 0. Okay, that's how you're going to start it off. And now I'm just going to add, so plus. I use my next coefficient, which is 4 times. Now my first term, watch what happens here. Right, we minus one on our exponent. So it's not four anymore, it's three. And then we add one on our exponent on our second term. Just like this. And you're gonna continue on with this pattern. So plus, my next coefficient is six. Here comes my term, my first term. So again, minus one, now it's to the second power. And then I get three to the second power, okay? Plus, Let's wrap this, we're gonna get four, that's my next coefficient. My first term is x, again, it was two, now it's one, and now this is gonna be three. Add, and we get one, that's our last coefficient, and then we get x to the zero, and we get three to the fourth. Okay, so there we are. And now we're simply just going to simplify this down. We know that anything to the zero power is just one, so we can essentially just cancel this out. We can also cancel this one out. Um, and then let's just go from here. This is just gonna be x to the fourth. So we should do this in a different color. We're gonna get x to the fourth power. So we get x to the fourth power, okay? Moving on right here. So I like to multiply the coefficients first. We know that this is just three, three to the first power is three. So four times three is 12. So we get plus 12 and then x cubed. All right, and now just moving on. We're gonna get three squared, which is nine times six, that's 54, so we get 54 x squared. Let's keep going. Three to the third, that's gonna be 27. 27 times four, is going to give us 108, so we get 108, so plus 108x, right? And then last, we're just gonna get three to the fourth power, and when we do that, we just get 81, so plus 81. And there it is, we just expanded out the binomial using Pascal's triangle, so this right here is gonna be your final simplified answer. Okay, and that is it.